With Image 46, PeopleSoft renames the GL Business Units tile to Business Unit Management. This feature allows you to copy and create general ledger and subledger system business units when using the Business Unit Management Activity Guide. You can also review and modify existing subledger business units. Accounts Payable is added in Image 46, and more applications are scheduled for future images. The Questionnaire page displays questions from the subledger system. These questions are determined by the system, but you can modify them in setup pages. The Questionnaire Advanced Features page displays additional questions that determine what appears on the activity guide. Use the Next button to access the activity guide. Based on responses to the previous questions, the Activity Guide displays setup pages for General Ledger and Payables. The setup pages are sequenced in the order that they should be completed, and dependent steps are highlighted if one should be completed before the next. Use the Review button to access the Subledger Questionnaire page. Select the configuration pages that you want to review, and then select Next. Keep in mind that all values are copied from the original business unit. Use the Payables Definition pages to configure the new business unit. The system displays the configuration pages in the order to be completed. Use the Next button to advance to the subsequent step in the Activity Guide. This completes the Business Unit Management for Payables feature description. PeopleSoft Payables adds a new dashboard to visualize your PayCycle payments. The AP Payment Metrics Dashboard allows you to view payments by currency, term, and various payment methods for your lines of business. Use the filters to narrow your view. All transactions are displayed in the currency defined for the business unit. Top Payment Total by Payment Term identifies the most frequently used payment terms. AP managers can use this information to choose the best combination of payment arrangements to optimize the amount of discounts received. Top Payment Total by Currency provides a summarized view of payments made in each currency. Top Payment Total by Payment Method identifies the most frequent payment methods and outlines plans for switching from check to electronic payments. AP Payment Metrics Details provides the summarized detail of the visualizations based on the filters chosen. Use the transaction links to view details about the payment and modify the information as needed. You can also export the contents of the table to a spreadsheet. This completes the Payment Metric Analytics feature description. Fluid eProcurement introduces two new requisition types for the healthcare industry. These requisition types are typically used to record header information, such as surgery date, physician ID, the items used during surgery, and whether those items should be replaced by the supplier. Use the bill only requisition type, where items are used and a replacement from the supplier is not needed. Use the Bill and Replace Requisition type, where items are used and a replacement part is needed from the supplier. Use the Installation Options eProcurement page to activate this feature. Use the Requisition Type Templates tile to configure custom fields for requisitions. On the Requisition Type Templates page, you can enable or disable custom fields at the header and line levels. These fields are displayed in drop zone areas of the selected requisition type. For example, in the healthcare industry, use these fields to capture associated surgery and item information on the requisition. The custom fields captured on the requisition are visible at the PO header and line levels. These custom fields appear on the Add Update POs page based on the Installation Options Purchasing page. The Bill Only and Bill and Replace requisition types display on these pages. You can search and filter by requisition type on these pages. 
This completes the bill only and bill and replace procurement flows feature description. PeopleSoft Maintenance Management now enables technicians to update the number of hours worked for multiple tasks at the same time using a mobile device. Using the My Tasks page, select the tasks for time entry, then the Weekly Time Entry button. Use the Update Selected Rows button and choose the tasks you worked on. Select the Allocate Hours button to access the next page. Use the Allocate Hours window to add hours worked for the selected tasks. Select the day of the week, the number of hours to allocate, and the allocation type. The Allocation Type field allows you to evenly split the number of hours entered across the selected tasks or to copy the hours entered to all selected tasks. In this case, you're splitting the eight hours evenly between the three selected tasks. The system automatically enters the hours on the weekly time entry page. In this example, the eight hours are split evenly between the three tasks. Extra hours are distributed in increments of one minute, starting with the first task. Use the Update Selected Rows button to add hours for another day of the week. In this example, enter four hours and choose Copy Hours for the two projects selected. The four hours have been copied to the two tasks selected for that day. Save your time entry. This completes our demonstration of the Enter Hours Worked in Mass feature. On the Installation Options page for Receivables and Billing, you can now determine who can delete attachments by selecting the Authorized Delete Attachments checkbox and entering the authorized roles. Whoever originally attached the file can also delete it. Use the Supporting Documentation page in Billing to add or delete attachments from an invoice. If your role is not configured to delete attachments, the Delete button is not available. Use the View Update Item Details page in Receivables to add an attachment directly to an item. This completes the Attachments for Billing and Receivables feature description. You can now reimburse employee expense reports through Accounts Payable or Payroll. Configure this at the Installation level, the Business Unit level, and the Employee level. Use the Installation Options Expenses page to determine the payment destination at the Installation level. This option determines whether all employees for all business units are reimbursed by Payables or Payroll. Use the Expenses Definition Business Unit 1 page if you have multiple business units and all employees in one business unit are reimbursed by payables and all employees in other business units are reimbursed by payroll. Your options are Default from Installation, Accounts Payable, and Payroll. Use the User Payment Option page if some employees within a business unit are reimbursed by payables and other employees within the same business unit are reimbursed by payroll. Your options are Default from Installation, Default from Business Unit, Accounts Payable, and Payroll. This completes the Expenses Reimbursement Options feature description. This list displays additional features and enhancements added for FSCM Update Image 46. On the Supplier Portal, when adding a new supplier, if the data matches an existing record, the system displays an error. Payables and e-Settlements now supports the e-invoicing format when submitting to the PPOL network. On the Payables Fluid Approval pages, you can now view a printable version of an invoice. Billing adds real-time indexing. Cash management allows you to load more than 5,000 bank transactions using the semi-manual reconciliation page. The e-procurement installation options page redesign emphasizes the use of fluid pages over classic pages. 
Grants extends the keyword's description field to 100 characters and adds the number of attachments in the award profile component. And Asset Management includes the sum of the non-capitalized cost to the non-CAP history list page and summarizes the total asset maintenance cost on the Review Maintenance History component. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.